Hello, friends. Yeah, this is purple again, but it looks blue. On, on the camera, it looks blue. I don't know what a color it looks to you, to you guys, but... Time is at quarter to 11. Yeah, I'm late getting around. Richard had the fire ready to go for me, so I just lit the match. And I got another pair of... Uh... Guess who? What are you doing? Thought you'd be asleep by now. I got on the the green camo yoga pants or what are they what are they called? Leggings. Green and purple. But they're tight enough. I don't want I'll take the large back. I'm not gonna try to squeeze into a large. These are tight enough. Yeah. I'm going to choose earrings. See, I got butterflies left. Um, rubber duckies. Yellow rubber duckies. And kitty cats in the tea mug. Well, it says cafe on it, coffee, but. Uh, so I'll let you choose, Ashley, since you're. Soon going to be asleep, and you're the only one here. If you want to choose for me. I don't know if... Cat tea. Uh, I was hoping you would say that. I, I don't... Uh, I can smell these pants. I had them out on the deck airing out all night, but... It didn't help matters any. I love them. They're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> like these are black. I could wear these any day, any colors. I was going to order these after I saw Lori with these. I was going to order these and she sent them to me. I'm all gowned up. Just waiting. I'm glad I brought my earbuds. Oh, buds. Oh, yeah. Because you wouldn't want my voice blaring through the hospital. Oh. Kitty cats in the teacup. Black. Oh, I love black kitties. I we had well, we had a black kitty way back in the 80s and named Shadow. And then we had uh, uh Smokey, who when I first saw him outdoors. Before he lost all of his mats, he was gray. I saw a big fluffy gray tail, but he lost all of his fur pretty well because he was so matted up and living outdoors alone for two years. And he was black, but I called him Smokey. And then uh, the other black one, his uh, name was already BB, B-E-B-E -B -E, from the shelter. So we just kept his name. BB boy. He was the big guy, 22 pounds. Yeah. He was 22 pounds at one time. I think he went down to 18. No, Timu, I do not want. No. No, I don't want you, Timu. Team you, or whatever your name is. Okay, so. I'm here. Don't even ask about my night. Try not to complain today. That would be a plus, wouldn't it? I don't even know why I came on. Same old thing, same old thing every day, every day. Yeah, I can smell these pants. I should put, put my jacket over my legs or something.
Yeah, these are tight enough. I, I they're not loose like the twelve twenty twos. So if they'll let me exchange them, I'll get an extra large in the blue. Feels like something crawling on my back, but it's probably just a cat hair or something. <laughs> I got my dish here. Oh, I forgot to get a knife. Today is June 9th, the anniversary of my first marriage ever to my youngest daughter's father, 1971. I turned 19. There's a mosquito in here. We never had a mosquito problem until after the rain. Yeah, but we needed the rain, so we got to deal with the mosquitoes. So anyway, I turned 19 on June 5th. We got married on June 9th, and my first daughter was born on June 16th. Eleven and a half months later, out popped my second daughter. Okay, so here. I got the fly swatter just, just in case. I got a humongous pot of cabbage and turnip here. He forgot to do the carrots. I don't know how, but... I have about 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, almost dumped. It's got a lot of broth in there. Uh, pot liquor. Pot liquor. I might dump some in a in a mug and eat it. Drink it, I mean. Drink it. I'm not going to eat pot liquor. Yeah, I wish he wouldn't have did both care and both turnips, but at least he'll eat some of it. I hope. Or I could freeze some of it, I guess. I gotta get a soup made. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I gotta get the pot out of the, the back of the van first. Here's a core. Feels pretty hard. I don't think I'm going to eat it today. Oh, the turnip is cooked. Well, the nice. Cabbage could have went a little bit longer. But no, I'm not going to complain. Hi, Ashley. Ashley's mom. And there's two other people here, it looks like, so I don't know who they are. Cabbage leaf. Yeah, cabbage. Maybe he can put it in the oven tonight again. And let it cook some more. I'd rather have cabbage overcooked than not, not cooked enough. There's a lurch kept going off this morning. No, no wonder I couldn't. I just dozed off. And the alert went on the phone and then I couldn't. That was the end of even trying. Ashley, she had to go home to wait. It's going to be about three hours. Oh, okay. Oh, so she's coming back when you're when you're gonna wake up, you mean? Okay. I don't have any green vegetables, I don't think. I thought she could wait here, but there's not really a spot. Yeah, since the pandemic, I, I think it's 
things are a lot different than they used to be. I don't think I have any vegetables over here, you guys. No. Give me a second. I'm going to go look in the freezer out here. There might be some onions. Frozen uh, onions, I think. Strawberries and sweet ch dark sweet cherries. And uh, he's got some ice cream out there. But that's, I can't have that, so. How am I going to? I don't want to cut a big hole. Because I'm not taking that much out of it. Well, that's quite a long drive for her to have to make for the second to go and come back again. I know she doesn't mind doing it, but it takes a lot of time for her, too time and energy. There, I got the... <laughs> Those bins are good for a lot of things. So I got, I'll put the cabbage and stuff back in the fridge here. If I can get it in without dropping it. And, uh, how did that fit there? Huh? Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't know how we had that fitting in there. Oh, I'll have to put it here. Oh. Should I sprinkle some rice on? I didn't bring beans today. Maybe I'll have beans for supper because I love beans. I love beans. I love beans and rice. So. So, what am I going to have now? Here's the haunted spoon. Are you on your laptop or phone laptop today? Because I was going to do yoga, but you're going to miss it. Maybe I'll do yoga tomorrow. You'll be home tomorrow and... I sent you a snap. There goes that mosquito again. If that bites me, you're going to hear it. <laughs> Is that mom's car? Yeah, you could. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I did yesterday and the day before. Oh, bless. Is 
I love that picture. Thank you. Now the fire's going behind me. It's getting heating up my back end here. <laughs> okay, let's put some rice. Yeah, I know. You could. Now I'm going to get the potatoes out. There's a fly in the fridge on the potato pot cup. Oh, it flew away. Yeah, I know you could, Ken. I don't know if I really want to or not. <laughs> I did some last night. I don't know if it would still really hurt when I up the hill, but. Up the hill here. Of course, I was carrying stuff, so carrying stuff makes it a little bit more painful than if I'm just uh, walking with myself, carrying myself. <laughs> I'm going to put these in a smaller dish. There's no need of this big pot being in there with You mosquito. You come here. Come here. No, not get off of my phone and my laptop. I can't swat you there. Where did it go? I don't know where it went. All right, I'll do another one. Yeah, so. Richard and his friend, I think, are going to uh, work in the garden tomorrow because he mowed the grass last night. They mowed in the cemetery on the other side of the trailer. And so, therefore, I can't go in the yard today. So, I said to him, I said, after we ate, I said, last night, I said, if you want to mow, you can. So he, he mowed over there and here. So, yeah, I'm going to wash my hand. Well, I wonder if these potatoes will fit in this bowl. This is my cool little bowl that I ate my banana and ice cream. Yeah, they'll fit. Yay. Just. Banana and ice cream. And it's perfect for banana and ice cream. So now I just got to get something to put over the top of it. Another fly. This will work. Ah, that will work just perfect. That will take up a lot less room in there. I'm going to wash my hand. And be right back for the. Uh, 
the uh, measuring cup that he used for his soup and soap. And it'll be all ready for when I come over to do dishes. After I eat. Callie is over here on the on the chair by the stove. Where is everyone today? I don't know. It looks like four people, but nobody's talking. One, one uh, thumbs up. Well, it probably looks like two to you guys. But I'll be right back. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes and counting. Yeah, here's uh, my my uh, oh. my leggings, my camo leggings. These ones are perfect. I would get extra large again. Well, they did give me a little tiny bit of a, a muffin top. If you want to see. Does anybody want to see a muffin top? <laughs> if anybody wants to see a muffin top, <laughs> put a muffin in the, <laughs> in the comment section. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ashley will find a muffin, I know. Oh, I don't know. You might be gone by now. Oh no, there you are. <laughs> there you are. I don't want to scare you for life by showing you my muffin top. Unless you say you want to see it over these pants. Ellie. They only have cupcakes. <laughs> A cupcake is good enough. Oh, there it is. She must want to see it. Oh, boy. <laughs> muffin top. <laughs> if I can put this up a little bit, not to show my uh, thing, but bra, but people are wearing crop tops right up to their bra. Um, yeah, see this? Muffin top. Mind you, it used to be a lot bigger than that. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> I hope you didn't take a screenshot. <laughs> now it looks like only two people here. Okay, my food's in the oven. So 20 to 12, it'll be, the oven will be off. So what can we do? There's no time for to do anything with Ashley. Oh, good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for not. Oh, that fly just went by again. Come here. Let me get you before it's, before you land on my food. Come on. Come on over. When I was a kid, I had a pet fly. I was gullible. It was in the winter, and I didn't know. I thought it was a pet fly. It just would stay on my thumb. Or, but I didn't know that at certain times of year, they'd get right stupid. It's not stupid now. It's outsmarting me. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Come on over. Oh, my. 
Yeah, a cupcake is good enough. <laughs> yeah. I commented on a, a video, um, an Instagram comment that um, posting that Chef AJ put. It was about a book. She's endorsing a book. Somebody else's book. Someone is here sending hearts. They are. I can't see them. They're, oh, it looks like four people again. I don't see them. But thank you for telling me. So anyway, so I commented on her on her posting. And I told her, I said, 11-11, make a wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Done. It's the same one I've been making since 1991. It hasn't come through yet. <laughs> so anyway, I commented under her thing and I told her about my friend in California sending an email to P uh, John Pierre and he actually answered me back. And I said to her, I said, uh, my subscribers, some of my subscribers asked me if I had any of your books and would I read some to them? And I read a little bit to them and three recipes. I said, but I, I probably should have asked your permission first. And so I'm asking permission now. So anyway, I'll see what she answers and see if. Uh... Oh, my heavens. I got it. You guys, I got it two, two in two days. proud of myself now i got that fly so yeah i'll uh, see what she answers me back whether i'll keep on reading or not that's exciting i hope she replies she's replied to every comment i ever made ashley uh, a couple times a, a few times it might have been just with a heart but she has acknowledged and the ones where there's words it sounds like it would be her instead of, I don't know if she's got somebody hired to answer comments or not, because she's got a lot of, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of comments. So, but it sounds like her anyway, you know, how if somebody tried to pretend to me and they were typing uh, and it didn't just sound like my vocabulary, maybe, you know what I'm trying to say? I think you do. Okay, get my pepper ready. Ooh wee. <laughs> yep. Richie forgot to do the carrots. Bless him. He couldn't help it. <laughs> Maybe I should be peeling potatoes. Well, I won't be able to be outside tomorrow, so I'll peel them tomorrow. Yeah, I'll come over here anyway, but I'll peel them tomorrow. Well, I don't know. There would be nothing. I don't really have to come tomorrow if he's here because he can take care of the cat and whatever needs to be done. Maybe I'll stay home tomorrow. I'll make my soup. I'm going over and wash that uh, potato pot, though. Yeah, so I just decided I would tuck this in like, I forget, what, what do they call that? Ashley must know. Somebody must know what they call that when you just tuck in the little... might be the last, the one and only stick I put in. 
Oh, I almost rolled out. Whew. Forgot to put my glove on. Yesterday, this started to boil out over the stove, so I... Oh, maybe Ashley's gone. She already had 30 minutes. And I didn't check the time when she said it. No, there she is. <laughs> she's always popping up just when I think she's not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That must have been your mother's blue car, Ashley. I love the picture you sent me. Of yourself this morning right now. Thank you. Mom said she's watching from home. Hi, Mom! <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the gang's all here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do or say. I put a stick of wood in the fire. It's quite, her Jeep is orange. I don't remember what I sent you. Oh, maybe it was just a car in a parking lot. <laughs> I got to find it. Um, she forgets what she said. Um, Where's my, oh, where's my search thing? <laughs> no, where, I don't have it. I was watching this uh, crime show and this here guy that shot a, a 20 year old boy and he broadcasted it on snapshot and he thought it would disappear in 24 hours and the person that he sent it to still had it on their phone so they caught him with that Bumper sticker. <laughs> oh, are you orange? I bet you that's snazzy. Do you remember now? <laughs> oh, it's just in the parking lot. <laughs> we must be two poopy heads. <laughs> two poopy heads. Me and Ashley. <laughs> yeah, I never saw a bumper sticker like that before. <laughs> I wish it was time to eat. I might eat early today. I've been hungry ever since six o'clock. Not, not, um, low sugar kind of hungry, but mom eyed watching, but doesn't know how to comment. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> no problem. There might not be a section or what is according to what she's watching on, because sometimes there isn't a place to comment, I think. Anyway, hi, Mom. Anyway, <laughs> drive safe when you go back to, to be with Ashley. I don't know what the traffic is like, but there's always a lot of 
cray cray people on the road. Um, what is it called? Road rage, road rage, and people passing when they shouldn't be, and yeah, speeding, and yeah, when you're going 109 and somebody's passing you. I shouldn't have uh, put the other log on the fire. Hold on. This here fan won't open up to the whole Canada word, uh, Ashley. I don't know if it's supposed to or it looks like they made it too short or something. But anyway. <laughs> It'll serve the purpose, right? Ashley gave me this for my birthday, you guys. It's for Canada Day. <laughs> Lockport, Canada Day, July 1st. Oh, my goodness. Lesson three. Just rip it right off. No, I don't want to rip it. Oh, my heavens. Remember I ripped that other thing? I was so embarrassed. You guys see that on my lip? I had a lot of cold sores, but only, only of course, cold sore a year. But that my last cold sore, I had left a, a, a scar there on my lip. Brr, it's cold now. What's the temperature outside? about 18 66 or 67 or something I started I was videoing a little bit this morning oh Ashley what did you do did you do something it must have been Casper opened it up <laughs> I can't believe it Can you believe it? Okay, screenshot. I told you. Screenshot. I hate hot flashes. Hot flashes are cool. Lord, why did you ever have to invent mosquitoes and ticks? And black flies and hot flashes. <laughs> I think a, a picture just coming through here. <laughs> oh, thank you, hon. <laughs> I'll send it. Uh, share it with my nearby, my nearby, uh, oh, I should open it on the other phone. Duh. Oh, well, I'll share it anyway. It'll share on this. Well, it didn't come up. Oh, my land. Just because I said it would, it didn't. You silly devices. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> I just came out and picked it up and, and it opened up the right way. <laughs> Canada Day, here we come. Oh, my new, my new uh, uh, Canada Day hat with all the bling on it. Oh, I can't wait. But it, then after that, I'll wear it in my videos when I'm wearing red. I'll wear that. I haven't worn red for quite a while. That's because red doesn't go with my new leggings. I need, I need black leggings. Yep. Next time we come, Ashley. I don't know. She might be gone. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yeah, the smell went off of this really nice. Ah, what's that? Oh, it's a fuzz thing. I thought it was a spider. <laughs> I'll put the fan on and open the door. I'll try to send a wave when I have to leave. Oh, okay then. Ah, <laughs> uh, something tickling my back. Richie, I wish you was here to look. He never finds anything anyway. What's that, a tick biting me? I got it before it biting. I lost it. I lost it, you guys. It flew off my finger. Now, where is it? Are you on my laptop? Remember that other one that was on my laptop, Ashley? Because <laughs> they can jump. And fly through the air. Mommy always said they can fly through the air. No one would believe her. I'd really not like to have it loose in here because I don't want it to get on tally. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, my gracious. Oh, okay, honey. We'll see you in, well, more than three hours, I guess it'll be. See you on snap. Send me a snap when you can. <laughs> oh, bless her. Look, she's biting her fingernails. Oh. Oh, I, I had it backwards. I didn't know there was a backwards. I'll have to tell her when she comes back. <laughs> She'll probably watch this after anyway, the rest of it. Bless her. She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> you guys already can tell. So what am I going to do now? 15 minutes before time to eat. I could wash dishes. Instead of leave them all for at the end, because there's already some to do. Oh, there's the cat. The homestead kitty. This well, this is it here, yeah. This will sit here. Cool. Okay, so now I guess we'll I hope I don't splash any water on my laptop, though. That would not be good. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't set it there after all, friends. It's pretty bright. Yeah, I think this will be better. Where's my scrubber? Here's my scrubber here. Okay, so. That's the lid to the jar that I had his soup in. I was using the spoon this morning. How exciting watching Potato Patty wash dishes at the homestead.
but I'll soon be eating. Yeah, there's hardly any pressure. I don't know why I come there's no pressure for the hot. There's the $20 measuring cup. And then after that, they wanted 30 for them. I'll wash this because I used this yesterday. Our friend that comes here, he likes to drink his coffee in this or his tea. Yeah, I probably won't even bother coming over tomorrow then. Yeah, because they'll be here and they'll be in and out, in and out, dragging in their dirty selves. And the other guy, he might have a uh, uh, bug, bug repellent on. And I can't be around that stuff. That stuff is deadly. That stuff is deadly. A leftover tea bag. Oh, it looks like there's only one person now. No wonder. So boring. Washing dishes live. And probably coming on every day and every day the same thing over and over. I would get bored too. Well, some people said though that there's a lot of people that are alone that they like to have the company too. So I don't know. I'll stay live anyway. Just for the heck of it. Oh, that mosquito. I got it. I got it. Woo! Wee, I got it. That's only the second mosquito I've seen so far, I think. There, there's a certain time that they're kind of dumb too. That they don't, you can't hear them and you can't feel them. Well, I guess that's not being dumb. I guess that's being smart. God, why did you make mosquitoes so smart and annoying? Well, if I don't come over tomorrow, I, I won't be peeling potatoes here, will I? Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Dear, dear me. I got to see what's in this dish pan here. These plates are so heavy. I told him if he wiped if he wiped the plates off, I would wash them for him. So I guess he wanted me to wash them because he you wiped them off. I don't know why there's so many. I thought he had was caught up. Sorry for the noise. Now it looks like four again. Now let's get a dishpan full of soapy water here. Yeah, 
right, you guys. This is seven dollars at the health food store, but I can buy a gallon of it from Amazon for twenty dollars. And there's almost four of these in a gallon, so four times seven would be twenty-one dollars. Well, it's not that much more, is it? When you think about it like that. Oh, not that much more. I can use some hot water out of the kettle here. Because you need really hot water for his greasy dishes. I better remember to uh, fill that up when I'm done. Okay, now let's see. We're going to put us, the plates in here and let them soak. Oh, just covers them. Just covers them. Oops. Guess he didn't fix that yet. <laughs> I told him he didn't have to, but he doesn't have to. But it did. Uh... Oh, there's another plate. There's another plate hiding. It went under. It went under. I'll put this somewhere because it's empty. I'll set it on the other stove. The other stove that we didn't even put a fire in yet. Oh, my land. I know. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. This is kind of hot. This water's kind of hot, but that's the way I wanted it. Really hot. Really hot and soapy. Ugh. Stuck. There we go. Plate number one. <sighs> there. I was I was able to lift it with two hands. I got a fork and a knife and a knife. To wash them. There's another knife. Let that go and soak. Not enough soap. One thing about this soap, you do need a lot of it. Ugh. I'm washing the second plate. Can't believe I lost that tip over there. At least I'm pretty sure it was a tick. Plate number two. <laughs> the water is hot. Yes, it is. I was boiling, boiling from that wood stove. Knife done. I can see if a message comes up, I won't be able to see the message itself, what the words are, but... I would be able to see if a message came. If you hear that noise, it's the pump. It's in the cellar underneath this floor.
Point number three. This one had egg. A runny fried egg. Plate number four. Three. <laughs> Plate number three. His dishes are greasy. They need to have really hot water. Dishes are easy to do when you don't have fat and meat. Plate number four. She's just going in there to her dish and her, and her dish is empty. So I'll give her a little, a little portion. Here comes mama. Mommy, I'll give you a little one, a little portion. Good girl. No. No. Looks like only one person here. Another plate. I thought he was caught up on his dishes until I just looked there and saw all those. Another one with egg. And where there's egg, there's grease because he uses uh, butter or bacon grease to, to cook up his eggs. <laughs> We're going to have an avalanche here in a minute. <laughs> this will be a big surprise when he comes home and sees all this. Yeah. He always does stuff for me. We do stuff for each other. That's the way it's supposed to be. Well, I always said 50-50. Marriage is 50-50, but it's not. It's 100-100. Right, friends? Right. I think this is the last plate. I'm not going to get into those uh, greasy frying pans and flippers and stuff like that. No. that'll He can do those. I don't know where this plate came from. It's got no, just the ring around it. It's got no pattern. Like there's a big lid here. I will do this. Well, it's got grease on it. It's got bacon grease. A gob of bacon grease, not just a little 
smidge spare. Good girl. Oh, she just fell down in the middle of the floor there again. A big 18 wheeler going by. Yep. That's the only way we get our goods because we don't have trains anymore. No trains. Not for many years. I don't know what year there was the last trains. A long time ago. Before I came here, I think, in 86. Is there anything else? I'll do this big knife for him. Another big knife and a big, I don't know what he had in the, oh, chocolate milk. Yeah, I'm not going to dig dig any further because then I'll be getting into the greasy frying pans and stuff. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. This water is still pretty, plenty hot. This is his favorite big knife. Another knife. Bread and butter knife. Two spoons. Oh, that water's still hot. Too hot for my hand to stay in it. I grabbed out two forks, though. On the bottom. The water coming out of the tap doesn't burn my hands. Well, it'll be time to eat. I'm going to stick these knives in around. Ah! I thought my plate was gone for, but it wasn't, so... That'll still be hot enough for me to do my dishes after I eat, so. Oh, somebody. Linda. Oh, hello, Linda. Ashley had to go. Yeah. She had to go for a few hours, so. Yeah, she's down for the count. Uh, I'm getting my, uh, Callie's here on the, yeah, thank you. That was good for a Callie one, wasn't it? Yeah. Cause she usually runs and she doesn't give him a chance anymore. There's my... My lunch, brunch. Richie cooked me up a big uh, cabbage and two turnips. And I got rice and vegetables and I put in some frozen chopped onions. Okay, here I come for the computer. I was just doing dishes, uh, Linda. I did a whole bunch of uh, dishes for him that he had saved up. I don't know how many plates. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
four, five, six, seven, eight plates he had saved up. I thought he had all his dishes done. Ha! <laughs> Until the next vet trip. I know. And that'll scare her. Yeah. And then she'll be scared again. There's this Callie. Yeah. I don't think her belly is quite as big and round as it was. You guys. Ah. What happened? Everything disappeared on the screen. I got on my other... Uh, other pair of uh, leggings I got the other day, Linda. But they're extra large, and I wouldn't want... I got the other ones in large, but I don't want them any tighter than this. Yeah, I don't want them any tighter than this. So I'll take them back. It was Walmart, and see if they'll... See if they'll let me uh, exchange. I don't know where the receipt is. Oh, boy. I know. I didn't look for it yet, but. Okay, now what do we got here? Time to eat. Time to eat. On goes the lemon pepper blend. Uh, here's my fork and my spoon so I can mingle and marry. Love your new earrings and a lot of stuff made in China is too small. Yeah. Yeah. I assume they're made in China. I don't know. My, uh, what was I was looking at? Um, my new hat Richie gave me. My real tree hat. Pink camo. And it's made in Bangladesh. I think my, uh, Walmart Canada hoodies. They're made in Indonesia, I think. Yeah, nothing is really made in Canada. Yeah, so... Maybe I need some more of this. Uh, this Oh, just a minute, and I'll show the earrings better. Kitty cat in in the tea mug. <laughs> it says cafe, but it don't matter. Too expensive to buy Canadian. It would be, yeah. Yeah. I hope their cost of living is... They get paid a lot less. I hope their cost of living is... Yeah, they came from uh, Lori of, of the Hatter House. Or Hatter House, I guess. Just Hatter House. Lori and three dogs and Josh and her mother. And a little foster puppy. Oh, yeah. Three dogs, a foster pup, puppy. Lori's mom. And she has a dog, too. So, Richie forgot to peel the carrots last night, uh, Linda, when he did the cabbage and the turnip. Mmm. But, oh well. I don't have anything orange or green today. I could get a couple of pickles. So I don't put green. Yeah, he cooked he cooked that big cabbage and two two turnips. I said you didn't cook both of the turnips. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so these are almost gone. I might finish them the next day I'm over. Sunday. We didn't go to the restaurant that I said for our supper last night. 
we just went to town because we, we needed a turnip. And we just went to town and he got bananas and a turnip. Oh, I have taters. So that was good. In here, I got white potatoes, long grain brown rice with uh, mixed vegetables. Oh, there might be the odd pea in here and carrot then. And uh, lima bean. Mmm. Yeah, that's a pea right there. <laughs> Mmm. That'll help your sweet tooth, right? I put too much pepper. Whew. So for our, our 16th anniversary supper, he had two boiled eggs and I had taters and grapes. <laughs> Oh, I found something else green, a green bean. Uh, no, I ate the taters and the and the grapes. I was okay. That was enough. It doesn't matter what time I wake up. Like I woke up at six o'clock this morning. Six o'clock. I'm pretty well always hungry when I wake up, but. Not hungry enough to get a, a sugar low. So I didn't do the the mukbang. I didn't edit it yet. I'll edit that tonight, maybe. Hmm. Just had a big scoop of these. I don't want the juice in my bowl because this juice is, tastes like olive juice. Now, for some yum yums. <laughs> yum yums. I might as well clean this bottle. Yeah. Empty. That banana ice cream looked so good. My favorite ice cream used to be black cherry too. Yeah. Oh yeah. It doesn't taste the same. When I put those cherries in there, it didn't taste anything like what I used to buy, but. No wonder it was loaded with sugar. Loaded, loaded with sugar. Pickle.
Now that we've had the rain, Linda, there was a mosquito in here. Yeah, I killed it, though. Took me a couple hours to catch it, but... Yeah, we do. Enjoy the natural food. Because sugar isn't really a food. Sugar and salt and oil, they're not really food. There's no nutrition. I just got a bite of onion. Yum. I took a tick off of me earlier and, oh, it was on here. And I had, I thought I had it between my fingers and it, it jumped somewhere and I don't know where it is. It could have even come off of this chair because Richard is, he was loaded with them last night after mowing. But the yards look good. They had already mowed the cemetery on the other side of the trailer. So I already wouldn't be able to come outdoors today. So I said, you might as well mow if you want to. And he said, okay. Oh... Yeah, that's no good. No fun at all. It's hard not to scratch. I got some tick bites that I can't help but scratch them. Linda, I went and I got this that Ashley gave me for our birthday for July 1st. I said, it won't open. It won't open. She said, rip it apart. Because the other day I was I opening that other thing and it ripped. Anyway, so I went in there and I come back out and I opened it up and it went like this. Oh... He doesn't realize, does he? Because I'm having a hot flash. Woo and there's hot food, and there's hot pepper. Woo! I had it backwards. It, it, it wouldn't open because I had it backwards like that. It's supposed to open like this. <laughs> Whew! And I put a fire, made a fire, because it was chilly in here when I got here. I opened the hall door and put the fan on. So tomorrow's Saturday. I can't come out in the yard again tomorrow because of the, the grass smell up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Richard and our friend, I think, are going to work in the garden. Finally. I suppose I could come and, and video out the window.
But I think I'll just stay home tomorrow instead. Make a soup. Catch up on my editing. Mm. I think that's what I'll do. Sunday we'll go to town. Oh. Well, the last three years, I went hostas. Hostas are nice. I gave my hosta away. Before, when I couldn't look after anything. Well, we plowed the last two years uh, to plant a garden, but with working in that wood, there's just no time. And now we're behind in the wood again. Well because of the fires and then the rain a month we're a month behind <clears throat> ow my knee <laughs> Sorry for the snapping, you guys. No, it's not too late now. No. For the garden or the wood. But Sunday we're going to have to start in it. We're going to have to work right at it. I think he's got work the, the rest of this month in, in July. They said they got it on the board at work. Nobody can have a, a vacation from May to the end of July. That's what I got now, Linda. It probably is something that I'm eating, maybe, but even when I'm not eating, my nose runs and I have to snuff, snuff, snuff all day long. Indoors, outdoors. Um, might as well let him sleep then.
Okay. Not only me then. Yeah, it's constant. It's like, I don't know why. You blow your nose, there's hardly anything there. Just, but a little trickle will come down. Keeping an eye out for that tick. No problem. Me too. I taught myself how to type one finger at a time. Yeah, I've had it for a long time too. I, I don't know when it started, but... No, I don't remember when it started. But it's for years now, yeah. And I think it's all year long. It's not like I can blame the pollen. The only thing I'm around for all the time is cats. But I was told years ago I wasn't allergic to cats. I was thankful for that because we had four at the time. Oh, it's quite a while then. That is a few years. <laughs> the only way I'm allergic to Richie is if he had some kind of a smell on him. <laughs> I'm glad of that. I wouldn't want to be allergic to my Rich. Yes. Yeah, same as me. He doesn't mind. He's always tried to understand. Although it's hard. 
if you don't experience it yourself, it's hard to understand. It's hard for me to understand. Years ago in my 20s when the, oh, you must be crazy. How can a smell make you sick? So I, I used to think the same thing. I must be crazy. Nose again. Doesn't help for long, a minute. <sighs> yeah, I was really lucky. Richie's a nice guy. Healthy mukbang at the old homestead. Almost bit the spoon. Oh no. Spitting on myself now. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah. My trauma didn't come from childhood. My trauma came from my marriage, my first marriage. Okay. I'm glad you got them worked out so you know what's what. I might have a bit of that. I It's hard for me to concentrate. I can't retain anything. I never really could very good, even in school. I think that's why I hated school so much, because I couldn't remember things.
Yeah, abuse through my, um, from my first husband. Yeah, he was, he was an alcoholic. And, well, there's alcoholics that are not, not abusive, but he was in every way, so. People say, well, why did you stay? Well, you get browbeat so bad that no one would want you anyway. And with two little kids, where are you going to go? But I did escape. After nine years. Cause then I, and I also thought, well, it's better for the kids to have both parents, but really not. Not when the home is so volatile and violent. Not good at all. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine. He grew up watching his father beat on his mother. And I didn't want my girls to grow up and think that that's the way it's supposed to be. So... They were eight and nine when I escaped. I can't even imagine having eight children, let alone being in a situation like that. I was always yelling. It seemed like I was always yelling. It's like, I don't know, and I still talk loud today. It's like nobody can hear you if you're not yelling for some reason. And I used to drink back then, Linda. drink to numb the pain. It was at that time. And then I continued to drink after I uh, got away. I went to live with my mother. My father had just died in 1980, and I got there in 1980. He died uh, May 27th, and I got there July 7th, maybe. 
mummy was drinking to cope. And I was drinking right along with her. Not to get drunk, but... Smart, because you don't know how easy you can get addicted. It's very easy. I never bought lucky tickets either. I went to the casino once. with one of my sisters and her husband when it first opened in Halifax. This must have been in the in the late 80s. Anyway, I had $13. And you put the money in the machine. And at one time, I forget how many dollars worth come out, spit out of it, but it was a real thrill, and I can understand how that would get you addicted. Oh, does it, Linda? Oh, that's so sad. Gambling is a real, real hard one, too. I had a friend once that had, her husband was a bad gambler. You know, gamble the whole check and paycheck, not just a, a lotto ticket. It's a big, big, big problem to try to fix. I don't know if it is fixable. Yes, I will. I've never had a request before that I recall, but yes. The heart, those pretty heart ones, yeah. I love them. I could have worn them today, but I'll wear the same green uh, camouflage pants tomorrow, too. 
Well, maybe not. Because they have a smell on them. And I'll be home. I think I'll be home tomorrow, so. I wear the earrings, but not the pants. <laughs> I don't know what I'll wear for pants, but. All right, green and pink. That sounds like a plan. That's something I don't have to try to figure out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Elvis Presley. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, no. No, I don't think they have any pink on them. It might be amber color, like yellowy orange or amber. I think I'm going to say amber. I'll try to remember to show them up closer tomorrow. Hmm. That was a big call, sir. Chop him up. I'm getting tired of showing. <laughs> but I'm glad I tried to cook the rice a little bit better. More yesterday. Oh. Cool. I didn't know what August uh, Gerstown was. I hope I remember to say a happy birthday to you. I did a little bit of yoga last night. <laughs> it's purple. It's very purple. Like a deep grape color, but it comes out blue on the screen. I don't know what it looks like on your screen. I don't know how to make it the right color. <laughs> oh, you did weights, did ya? I just did the stretches for the sciatica.
Mm. Yeah, because you said that you like my blue t-shirt I have. I gotta take these over and put them in the dish pan, start them soaking. I'm Kelly, sorry to wake you. There's a glass still in there that he is drank chocolate milk. There it is. Yoga, yeah, yoga. Yeah, I call these yoga pants, but they're not yoga pants. They're they're leggings. Ah. You can for my sciatica. Because I was just looking at the ones on YouTube that I could uh, lay down and do, but not on the floor. I can't get on the floor. Ah. Callie's over there laying between the stove and the, the doorway over there, the sink. Oh, this is hot on my burning tongue. There she goes. <laughs> what a good girl. <laughs> Look where she fell down at. If you can lift up one leg and make it so that your ankle is resting on the other knee while sitting in the firm chair. Do you want to do some yoga? Do you want to do some yoga? <laughs> you want to be a yoga girl? A yoga kitty? <sighs> Look. 
lift one leg and make it so your ankle is resting on the other knee. It's on the knee. The ankle is on the knee, but it's really pulling. It's really pulling in here. More than I like it to be pulling. So is it supposed to hurt? Hard kitchen chair is better. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what about, what about this lawn chair? I was still pulling, I was still pulling dad. All through, all through. Let's do the dishes then. You don't, you want a little pulling, not hurt. No, that's not just pulling, that's, that's hurt. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do these dishes. You can't see now because there's a mountain there. A mountain of dishes. He'll be so surprised when he comes in the doorway and he sees all these. My water's still hot. I can put my hand in it now, though. I wouldn't want it any colder for doing dishes. So. There's glass here. Yeah, I'll try it more when I get home where I'm more comfortable. Yeah. I did the, the stretching ones last night. It didn't hurt that bad. So uh, when I get done here, I'll show you what I did last night. Uh, Ellen is a yoga instructor. She said, wouldn't it be something if I could afford to fly over there and and, and do a, a yoga instructing uh, session on the beach? <laughs> when you do your beach thing, wouldn't it be something? I'm done doing dishes. I'm done doing dishes, that's for sure. But he will be pleased over that. I know he will. I turn the. I gotta dust my laptop here. Not right this minute, but 
when I first it hurts because you need to stretch when I first did I was so stiff too great job with the dishes oh thank you <laughs> thanks son oh there's a spoon I forgot a spoon oh well one spoon will be okay to start off Oh. I don't like doing dishes. <laughs> I never did like doing dishes. No, oh, she's down there now. What's the matter? Why have you got your back to me and your ears back? <laughs> Let's go over on the sofa. No, she's coming with me, following me. Okay. I laid down. I was laying down. Yeah, I did. I laid down. Yeah. And my sneakers are clean, so. Anyway, I'm the one that has to do the dishes, so. <laughs> I, I don't ever recall laying on here before. I'm too tall. <laughs> this is the only thing I'm too tall for. Okay, so bend the knee and then bring this one up. Straighten it out and she said it didn't matter how straight or how crooked or or how, uh, where you grab your leg at. It's pulling a little bit. Pulling, but not hurting like when I was sitting. So maybe I'll just do this one for a while before I try to do the sitting one. So I might as well do them both anyway. And just uh, keep them both stretched. Even though this side doesn't hurt. I'm not very good at doing exercises. Like. So I wonder I can even lift this one up. I can't do it sideways. I'm laying on my side. I can't lay, lift it up. Because when I'm in bed, I have to. That's hard. I forget what I have to do, but <laughs> then I can do these. That's something I do sometimes. <sighs> Get me up out of there. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> What are these pink seeds? Corn. Early corn. I don't know. Early corn. It's probably too late to plant them, though. I don't know what these are. They don't look like they're any good anyway. Whatever they are. Peppers. I tried to grow peppers once. That didn't work out. There's a lot of different seeds here. They'll just do what they're going to do. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, I won't be having anything to do with it, I don't think. I do have sunflower seeds here. I don't know. It's too late to plant them. That little package I bought. There's supposed to be 50 or more in here. I 
Why are your legs out straight like that? <laughs> She's always got her legs out straight. And she put them down now. Good girl. It's easier to do them on my uh, at home. I'm not going to do them here. The second jar. This. They're big. They almost look like a a prune or a date, but cucumbers, cucumber seeds. Uh. These are some kind of peas or beans or oh, she's over there burping. <laughs> this is Jara's 1985. Yeah, I don't know what they are. They they did have some uh, prune seeds and peach seeds, which are no good to try to plant. Now here's. This one might be onions. Golden mellow. Gourd mellow. Gourd melon. <laughs> no, we don't want to plant those, no. He can plant them in his own house if he wants to plant stuff like that. Lots of beet seeds. And peas and more beets, more beets, more beets. How many beets? These ones here are squash or pumpkin. I don't know which. Yeah, there's a lot of, what's this? Winter cabbage. No good to plant them. Well, I don't know what they are, but they're all moldy. Flower garden. Flower garden. Oh, flower garden. We don't want that. Uh, okay. Uh, they can plant whatever they want. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be here doing it. Let them do it. If they want to do it. Oh. Yeah, okay, Linda. I'm going to... It's one o'clock. It looks like there's three other people here, but nobody's saying anything, so... It's one o'clock. I'm going to go home and have my rest. I did sleep a little bit better last night, longer. I didn't feel that much better when I got up, but I still felt very right groggy and not able to get out of bed. I just wish I could just wake up, jump out of bed to meet the day like normal people. But oh no, not Patty. And these here pants have a smell. They have a new smell. Yeah. So, now that the food smell is not here, I'm able to smell the smell of that again, so. So, I probably won't be live again until Monday now. Hello, Redeemed. Hello, grounding. Uh, you mean like putting my bare feet on the earth? 
I was going to say I have to go make Sean's lunch and take the dogs for a walk. Bye for now. Well, thanks for keeping me company, Linda. While I ate my brunch. And whoever here is here, too. Everybody, not just Linda, but... Yes, I have heard of that. There's a, a woman on uh, Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. Uh, I see she's doing it. I can't stand to have my bare feet touching, touching the grass or the ground. <sighs> Maybe for a few minutes in the... worth trying what's it going to do for me is it going to help my sleep is it going to help me sleep <laughs> looks like we are taking shifts <laughs> say hi to sean for me linda and uh, we'll see you in the next one all right it's worth a try then redeemed Oh, it's going to give me the, the weebie-jeebies, the wee willies. I don't mind my feet in the sand once in a while for a little few minutes when I'm on the beach. But. Okay, thanks, hon. See you next time. Green heart earrings tomorrow. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. Uh, redeemed. I'll research it. Anything's worth a try. And testimonies in the comment section. Yeah. I, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Yeah, I have a hard time believing some stuff. I went to a naturopath once and she gave me this kind of medicine. She said, this is wonderful. She said, this will clean all the toxins out of your body. She said, I had one guy in here. She said, and he went outdoors and he peed and it was just black. It was just peeing out all the toxins. That never happened to me. I never had peed out any toxins. And um, and then another thing, she was doing acupuncture on me. She said, oh, she said I've had first sleep. She said, I've had people just fall asleep right on the table. Uh, no. No, that didn't happen either. The whole sleep thing didn't happen, let alone sleep on her table. Yes, yes, uh, redeemed. Not, yeah. That was not cheap. And that was, oh, how many years ago was that? I don't, I forget what years it was, but anyway. Yeah, well, I'm going to be waiting until the grass is dry. And I got to wait until after the grass smell is out of the yard anyway, because Richard mowed last night. Well, I don't know how long you've been here, if you know all that or not already. About the grass smell hurting me just as if it was perfume or gasoline or, yeah. And they mowed in the cemetery. So I said to Richard, you might as well mow. And he mowed these two places. So Sunday, I might be able to come out Sunday. I would, wouldn't that be something if it fixed that too? Get these feet, bare feet on the ground somewhere. Because this I've been suffering from for 50 years. Anything is worth trying. Yes, and I appreciate the the um, 
the share and of the ideas. Wouldn't that be something now if I can say, I'm cured. I, I don't, <laughs> I can cook. I can cook a normal recipe. I don't have, have to cook weird and the, the food smell is not making me sick and That would really be something. Oh, somebody just sent me a message on one of my phones. Yeah, easy medicine. Not hard at all. Yes. So, oh yeah, I got this un, unplugged. That's why I can't see very good. Because I'm getting ready to pack it up. Pack it up, pack it up. I look forward to your testimony. Yeah, well, you can be sure that I'll be blabbing it if it happens. I blab everything else. <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, there she is in the chair. There's the homestead girl. Are you going to stay there until Dad comes home from work? Wait until he sees all these dishes done. Oh, he'll be so happy. Yes, he will. And surprised. Okay. Oh. If you if you watch videos of the man who discovered it, you won't be so skeptical. Oh well, who's that? Do you know who it is? I could probably Google it. <laughs> but that would be a great help. What am I doing? It's warm. It's let's see what the temperature is now. It's twenty one or twenty two. It's around seventy. Clint Ober, 
I think close enough. Yeah, I'll find him. Look at cut my fingernails are so long and scraggly. Yeah, that'll be close enough. I'll find him. Yeah, I want to be able to walk again. I can't walk up and down the road even. When I'm not working in the wood. So anyway, everybody that's still here, I'm going to say see you for now, and I don't know if I'll be back before Monday or not, but I got a couple of videos I'm working on to edit, to put out anyway, so that's probably what I'll just do. I'll finish that one, and then I'll put our anniversary mukbang tomorrow morning. Or Sunday morning. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll do one or the other. Thanks, everyone. See you in the next time.